Okay, uh, right now we're going to focus on translating the tablature from the song Other Side into um, regular standard notation. So we'll start right here. The first notes I see here are a zero and a two grouped together uh, on the A string and the D string. So a zero on the A string is an A, and a two on the D string is an E. So I have an A and an E. But let's think about this. Which one is lower and which one is higher? The E is higher, so the E has to be written above the A. So um, I'll start with my A right here. My E has to be above it, so that's A, B, C, D, E. And literally, especially when you're starting, just count. It's so easy. A, B, C, D, E. Each line represents something, each space represents something, so if you know the alphabet, you won't get too lost. Alright, now what's nice here is that it starts with the same thing three times in a row. So if no, if this is A and E, this is also A and E, and this is also A and E. So I get a lot of notes for free. All right. So now I'm done with this section. I'm on to this section. And this is different because if you look at it, from the A you have to go down to this note, but from the E you have to go up to this note. So down to this note. This note being a first note on the low E string, an F. So if I'm coming down from my A to an F, my F has got to be here. And if I look here, I'm going up from my E to the second fret of the G string. So the second fret of the G string is an A. I'm going up from my E, E, F, G, all the way up to here. Watch, because E. F is the line, G is above the line, A, which is my note, is the line above the staff. All right, so here's what I've got. I've got this and this. This is a low F and a high A. Now, the next chord is exactly the same thing. So, of course, what I'll do is I'll write the exact same thing after it. Now, my next note is this note, which is the zero of the B string. The zero of the B string, of course, is a B. And if I think about it, this is higher than my A. That's why it's on a higher string. So if it's higher than my A, I've got to write the, the B that is higher than the A. And the B that's higher than the A, of course, is going to be the B that's right above the line, because that comes right after the A, logically. Next, I get this two. And this is kind of easy to figure out, because it's the exact same note as this. So whatever this was, this will be the same thing. So in other words, it will be this again. And then I get the zero on the G string. So the zero on the G string, of course, is G. So I've got to do a G. And considering it's right next to the A, it's going to be the G that's right next to the A. So it's going to be right there. So right now, I've done this much of the song, which is about half of it. Next, I've got these two notes together. This two is familiar. If you notice, it's the same two from the beginning, so it's going to be the same note. That's going to be the two of the D string, which again is an E. So it's the same E as we started with, so I'm going to write exactly the same note that I started with. Um, what will be different is that now we have a C instead of an A. And if you look at it, a three is more than zero, so it's going to be higher than this A. So if this is my A, um, the 3 of the A string is a C. So what I'm going to write is a C. So if this is A, the line is B, so the gap is C. So it's this note right here. And I have 3, 2, followed by 3, 2, followed by 3, 2. What it means is that I have exactly the same thing three times. And then the last thing. If you look at here, the 2 goes down to a 0. So the 2 goes down to the 0, that means the note is going down. Um, the 0 of the D string is D. So instead of having this, a, uh, this E, I'm going to move down to a D. And we go down to a 3 here, which is the 3 of the E string. The 3 of the low E string is a G. So if, um, if the G is here, it is higher than the one that we had, so it's higher than that F. So if this is our F, then the G is going to be the G after the F. It's going to be higher than that, 
So F, G is the next note, so it's going to be this one right here. So what we have is a G and a D right here, and as you can see, we have the same thing three times in a row. So we finish with the same three notes three times in a row, and that's what we have. Now, what's great about this is that you can play it not only on the guitar, but now you can play it on the piano. So here's what it looks like on the guitar. One more time. Now let's work on looking at it on the piano. Follow me this way if you would. Play it on the piano really quick. So I'm going to start with an A and an E, so that's going to look like this. Followed by an F and an A. And then C and an E. To tell you the truth, that is literally the first time I've ever played that song on a piano. And doing this translation helped me play it a lot easier. So with practice, it will also get easier for you. You need to practice. Please practice. Thank you.